okay continuing from the last session so uh, coming back to this table i have told you this m means perpendicular always okay so i'll prove that in 32 class so let's come back to the table here uh, if you see first one is only rotation axis i have already told second one is only rotor inversion axis 1 bar 2 bar 3 bar 4 bar 6 bar then combination of rotation axis 2 to 2 3 to 4 to 2 6 to 2 like that then one rotation axis and <coughs> sorry sorry so one rotation axis and perpendicular mirror like 2 by m 3 by m 4 by m 6 by m then one rotation axis and parallel mirror here this parallel means 2 mm means these 2 mm are parallel to b but as i have written here mm2 means this m is parallel to b this m is parallel to b but this m is perpendicular to c this m is perpendicular to c which is the position which is the position where i am writing the symmetry element i am writing the symmetry element in a particular axis position like c or a or b so it is perpendicular to c it is perpendicular to a as b is perpendicular to both c and a these two mirror planes are parallel to b okay but if you consider only m that is perpendicular to that position it is perpendicular to c it is perpendicular to c it is perpendicular to a but as b is perpendicular to both c and a these mirror planes are parallel to b but in trigonal and hexagonal system you are not finding this case okay so because the axes are not perpendicular they are at 120 degree so one rotation axis with mirror plane 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm 6 mm then roto inversion axis with rotation and mirror roto inversion axis with rotation and mirror 3 bar 2 by m 4 bar 2 by m 6 bar 2 by m then three rotation axis and perpendicular mirrors like 2 by m 2 by m 2 by m i have told you this is b axis two fold perpendicular mirror c axis two fold perpendicular mirror a axis two fold perpendicular mirror similarly 4 by m 2 by m 2 by m 6 by m 2 by m 2 by m like that again additional isometric patterns these are two two three is a isometric uh, uh, it is a class in isometric system 2 by m 3 bar is also a class in isometric system 4 3 2 4 bar 3 m 4 by m 3 bar 2 by m all these are in isometric system this is the normal class of isometric system okay so these are all the 32 classes these are all the 32 classes will go individually will go individually for each system and each classes i will uh, show you some diagrams i will show how to do it in stereo plot okay so you need not memorize but you should remember these things so that uh, you can do, uh, do it yourself if you understand once you can do it yourself in the exam okay so it is all about yes so now it is divided uh, on the basis of what different crystal systems different crystal systems and which classes are having center which classes are having center of symmetry and which classes are not having center of symmetry right which classes are having center of symmetry and which are not having center of symmetry so in triclinic there is one class that is the normal class that is having center of symmetry in monoclinic only in normal class there is center of symmetry orthorhombic only in normal class you are getting uh, center of symmetry in tetragonal system you are finding two classes one is normal every normal classes is having what center of symmetry in tetragonal system you are getting one additional that is 4 by m 4 by m means that is tetragonal dipyramid so uh, no need to go to the name i'll show how to define the names okay so that is tetragonal four faces offside four faces downside so tetragonal dipyramid so that is also having center of symmetry you can also name this by seeing the symbol okay by seeing only 4 by m by seeing only 3 by m you can also name this after finishing the 32 class lecture okay so no need to worry so again in hexagonal system this is 3 bar and 3 bar 2 by m they are belongs to trigonal system i have told you trigonal is a subclass of 
hexagonal okay so uh, okay in trigonal there are three bar in trigonal three bar and three bar two by m they are having center of symmetry similarly in hexagonal in hexagonal we are also finding what center of symmetry in 6 by m then 6 by m 2 by m 2 by m so 6 by m 2 by m 2 by m this is the normal class of hexagonal system 3 by 2 by m this is normal class of trigonal system this 3 bar and 6 by m there are additional classes where they are having hexagonal in isometric in isometric there are uh, two classes 2 by m 3 bar 2 by m 3 bar and another one is the normal class 4 by m 3 bar 2 by m 4 by m 3 bar 2 by m so these two classes of isometric system they are also having what this center of symmetry so as i have told you every normal classes of every system normal classes of every system is having center of symmetry along with that along with that in these uh, in these systems like trigonal hexagonal and uh, this isometric uh, and there is what tetragonal also we are getting two two classes which are having symmetric right in tetragonal also there are two like 4 by m and second one is 4 by m 2 by m 2 by m this is the normal class right and then as i have told you orthorhombic in orthorhombic in orthorhombic also we are getting one class that is the normal class 2 by m 2 by m 2 by m in monoclinic only 2 by m and in triclinic only 1 bar ok so these are the normal classes these are the normal classes so triclinic monoclinic and orthorhombic they are having three normal classes okay in isometric hexagonal trigonal and tetragonal they are having four normal classes per plus four additional classes which are having center of symmetry what are these uh, no, uh, namings these are hn symbols right these are hn symbols i will say how to find out the symbol or how to find out the diagrams from the symbols okay for 32 class so these are how many cl total classes having center okay these are how many total classes having center so triclinic monoclinic and orthorhombic they are having only in normal classes isometric hexagonal trigonal and tetragonal along with their normal classes there are some other classes which are having center of symmetry okay so they are having two each but they are having one each that means two into four that is 8 here 1 into 3 is 3 so 8 plus 3 is 11 total out of 32 classes out of 32 crystal classes we are getting only 11 classes which are having center of symmetry right out of 32 classes we are having only 11 classes which are having what center of symmetry which are having center of symmetry this question is asked in jam and also net gate okay and this can be asked also in the future so out of 32 classes how many classes are center 11 what are they normal classes of each system and some additional classes in isometric hexagonal trigonal and tetragonal okay so these are all about this uh, 32 class uh, sorry this 
uh, what whatever slides I have shown you. So after these slides, now I will start in the next video. I will start what 32 classes. Okay. I will define each classes. I will define the symbol. How to determine the symbol or from the symbol how to determine the diagram. Okay. So you will not get confused. Thank you.